Hello you guys! Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome! Um, I haven't filmed a YouTube video in a long time and I want to get back into it, so here is the first of hopefully many to come. I had full intentions of getting ready for this video and having a cute outfit and looking really nice, um, and that just did not happen today. So I figured why not just sit down, do some chit chat, um, I'm going to straighten my hair while I'm talking to you guys and I'm going to answer some questions. I put on my Instagram story that I was going to do a Q&A for YouTube. So I'm going to answer some of the questions that I got asked on there. I do not want to do a lot of editing for my first video back. So all of this is going to be pretty much raw. Just sit down and talk with me. So if I repeat myself or um, I stutter, sorry about that. But here we go. Okay, so I just let my hair down. This is what it looks like. Um, let's straighten it. Also, I got a new camera and I'm still trying to figure out everything on how to work it and all that. So hopefully this looks good. Hopefully it's not blurry or anything. Uh, yeah, so first thing we're gonna do is brush my hair. Um, and I'm brushing from the bottom. Okay, so next thing, I'm just gonna add this five-in-one leave-in spray. Um, not sure everything that it does, but it makes my hair smell good. So we're using it. Okay, so that's all in. I have the questions screenshotted on my phone, so I'll be pulling those up as we go. And I'm just going to section my hair, put it up with a clip. Okay, hair is sectioned off. So let me pull up the first question. I have them screenshotted on my phone. Okay, so the first one says, are you excited to be having another baby? I am extremely excited to be having another baby. Um, we did not think that it would be happening so soon, um, but we are very, very, very excited, especially because um, I'm having another boy and I feel like my son and his little brother being so close in age are going to be so close um, and their bond I'm hoping is like no other. Uh, the youngest or the closest sibling in age I have to me is four years younger and that's still like it's not like a huge gap but it's also not super super close um, so I'm hoping with my boys you know Obviously, they'll be able to relate to each other and always have uh, someone to talk to that's around the same age that can probably, you know, relate to what's going on. So, yeah, we're very, very excited. Okay. Next question. What was your biggest struggle during breastfeeding? So, I'm actually still breastfeeding my son. Um, I am almost 13 weeks pregnant and... My, like I said, my son is 10 months old. He is still breastfeeding and I don't plan on weaning him off. I plan on letting him self-wean. Um, I would say my biggest struggle so far with breastfeeding, the beginning was definitely hard. Um, there's a lot that they don't teach you about. I'm really, really glad that I did extensive research into breastfeeding before I started because I knew that it was something that I really, really wanted to do. Um, had I not researched, then, then I probably would have given up or thought that I wasn't producing enough or just something would have happened and I don't think I would have been breastfeeding as long as I have today. Uh, so the beginning was really hard, uh, especially with cluster feeding a newborn. It felt like he was nursing literally 24-7 for like a month and that was really hard um, and the first like two or three days like in the hospital and then that first day home um man he had a he had a good latch don't get me wrong but um when their mouths are so tiny it can be painful and I, I don't even like to use the word painful I just like to say maybe uncomfortable because you're not really used to it. Um, and it was really hard. Like I almost 
quit the first or second day I remember just being like okay ow um but once I pushed through those like hard couple days everything just got I don't want to say it got easier but um definitely wasn't painful I don't feel I haven't felt any pain associated with breastfeeding in since those first couple days but um just so much more manageable and um yeah the best advice that i was given for breastfeeding is don't quit on a bad day because there have been times where i'm like oh, man this is so exhausting this is so much work you know is it really worth it and in those times it's just like moments of like just when I'm so tired is when I'm really thinking that. But don't quit on a good day. And so the very next day when I'm back to normal and everything's good, I'm like, okay, I can't imagine not nursing my son. I love it so much. Okay, so the next question that I got was, how did your family react when you told them you were pregnant again? So everyone in my family was so freaking excited. Um, so... The way I told my parents, <laughs> I hadn't planned on telling them when I did. My husband and I and our son, we were going down to my hometown to visit some family and my parents were going as well and they were taking my brothers and all that. It was just gonna be a big family gathering and we were going for the weekend and I hadn't told anyone that I was pregnant yet. Um, and I get really bad morning sickness, not even morning sickness, like all day sickness. And I had told my husband, um, I was like, okay, let's see. Our goal for this weekend is to um, make it through the weekend without anyone finding out I'm pregnant. Um, and we made it literally two hours into the trip. So um, I don't know who, oh, my mom was talking about making some like mixed drinks and stuff like that. And I had mentioned that I wasn't drinking this weekend. And my mom was like, why? And I was like, oh, just because. And my dad immediately knew, like immediately. And he just like looked and like smiled at me. And he's like, yeah, why? And I can't like lie to my parents. And so they were like, are you pregnant? And I was like, yeah. And my mom was like so excited. My dad was excited. When I said that, one of my... Diaz was there and my grandma was there. Um, so yeah, everyone was really, really excited. We didn't have any negative reactions as I would expect. My family has always been so, so, so very supportive. My mom loves being a Gigi. So um, yeah, they were all really, really excited. Um, the next question I got, because I remember, is how is wedding planning going? So good, but also kind of not really going right now. So if you didn't know, uh, we weren't planning on starting to try for our second baby until after our wedding. So my husband and I, we are already married, but due to COVID, um, we didn't get to have like a big wedding or anything like that to celebrate with friends and family we had our court wedding and it was just us two and it was beautiful but we still wanted that big you know movie wedding to celebrate with everyone else so we had planned it for this year it was going to be september 23rd of 2022 um and then we found out we were expecting so we actually pushed wedding planning or the wedding back um to september of 2023 um so yeah we have it kind of easy because I'm keeping all of the same, the venue, all of my vendors from like the original date. I just changed the date with them. So that was pretty easy and we had a lot done. Um, so all we really have left is like the little details, the linens and centerpieces and things like that. Um, so I'm not really too worried about it right now, especially since the wedding is so far away now. <laughs> um, that I'll probably get more into after this baby is born. But yeah, it's going good. Okay, so the next question is, do you feel anything different between the two pregnancies? And this question is funny because no, not at all. Like it feels exactly like my first pregnancy. Um, 
first trimester. I'm still in my first trimester, so I can't speak for like the whole pregnancy. But so far, just like my first pregnancy, I have been exhausted. I would sleep all day if I could. Obviously, I can't because I have a baby. But um, exhausted. I had morning sickness for the first like 12 weeks. It's finally just getting better. I still like randomly have to go run and throw up, but um it's finally getting better it's not like i'm miserable all day every day like i used to be um i'm feeling baby move pretty early um so i really don't feel any different with this pregnancy so far it feels exactly like it was when i was pregnant with baby christian which is so funny and okay so <laughs> next question is what was your first thought when you first saw that positive this is something, uh, okay, so the first thought was like, oh shit, like my wedding. I was kind of, I don't want to say disappointed that I was pregnant, I was disappointed because I immediately knew I didn't want to be pregnant at my wedding, so I immediately knew that the wedding was either going to be canceled or pushed back. I was so, it was like, um, I was super, super, super happy blessed so thankful always to be a mother again and at the same time my bridal dream was like oh, you know the timing was just it wasn't exactly as we planned but i think that's when life's greatest blessings happen is when you least expect them um so and i did feel bad i always told my husband that i felt really bad because when i found out i was pregnant with christian from the moment I found out to the day he was born to now, I did not feel any type of disappointment or like, oh, this isn't, you know, a good time or, you know, whatever else. Um, so I felt like a really bad mom for feeling that this time until I realized that it's two very, very separate things. I, it's okay for me to be um, super freaking excited to be pregnant again. I love being pregnant. I love being a mom. It's my favorite part of life there's nothing that brings me greater joy than being a mom um so i was just telling myself you know it's okay to feel um two different ways about the same thing so like like i said super excited to be pregnant super blessed super excited to give my son a sibling my husband another son myself another son but at the same time i was like oh, darn you know <laughs> um but since then any type of um feelings about the wedding and all that stuff has completely gone away because i realized that um it's no big deal like a date change no big deal i'm still gonna get to wear my dress i'm still gonna get to have my big party still gonna get to dance to our song um, and now we have an, even an extra year to save up more and expand our budget if we need to. So um, definitely, definitely, definitely all positive now. But in the very beginning, um, I hate to say it, but I did wish the timing was a little differently. Um, but like I said, it all worked out very, very happy. Okay, so next question is how did you find out you were pregnant with baby number two? So um i take pregnancy tests every single month um just because just because um you know get to test peace of mind all of that good stuff so i had taken a test maybe like three weeks prior and i'm sitting on my bed and i'm doing homework all of a sudden i have to run and go throw up then immediately i knew I knew I my I never have stomach issues except when I'm pregnant so um, I texted my husband who was downstairs my son was in his crib taking a nap I texted my husband I said go to Walmart and go get a pregnancy test and he was like right now and I was like yes right now go and he's like oh like you're always doing this you're so paranoid you know whatever and he was just kind of laughing at laughing about it so he goes to Walmart, he comes back, and he's like, I brought three tests because I know how you are. Because sometimes, like, if I'm convinced something, 
Like, if I had convinced myself already that I was pregnant and I took the first test and it said negative, I would be like, nope, that's wrong, let's take another one. And so he brought three because he knew that would have been the situation. And so he gives me the test and as soon as he hands me the test, our son wakes up. So he walks out of the room, he goes to get our son from the crib, I go, I pee, I put the pee on the, you know, test, and I'm watching it and I'm standing there, I'm watching it, and I see one line, and then I see two lines, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I walk out of the, the bathroom. So our bathroom is in our room. I walk out of the bathroom and our, my husband is standing in the room with my son. And I kind of just look at him and I didn't say anything. I was like literally speechless and I was just looking at him. Literally like that. And he's like, you're not. And I was like, I am. And he's like, no, you're not. Like he thought I was just like messing with him. And I said, I am. And he like goes in there and he looks and he immediately was so freaking excited. He was so, so, so excited. And in the moment, like I said, I was like thinking about the wedding and thinking about how I'm still breastfeeding and like all this other stuff. And I was like in shock. And he was so excited. It was so cute. Um, still didn't believe it. <laughs> so I took the other two tests and they were both very, 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 very bright positives. So I was like, all right. I'm pregnant and then I kind of just laid in bed for the rest of the day and just processed but yeah that's how I found out this time okay okay so last question is do you love being married especially at your young age um yes I love being married and I love being a young mom um but I think it's just because I've always known that that's what I wanted um you know some people dream of being single all their life and going out and partying forever and some people dream of you know focusing solely on their career and some people dream of focusing on their career and then getting married and some people believe no career and just wants to do you know school and whatever everyone has their own timeline is the point and everyone has their own wants and dreams and what they want to do something i've always known for for sure is i've always wanted to be a mom um so that's the first thing i love being a mom i knew from forever that I wanted to be a mom um my mom always jokes and tells me like when I was a baby or when I was like a younger toddler I would always want to play that I was a mom and I'd have my little babies and take care of them and all that stuff and that went through like forever even in middle school and in high school I took child development classes where I would have to take um like a robotic baby home and take care of it for a weekend and all that stuff so being a mom for sure um being married yes i've always been very much a relationship person um i love being in a relationship and when i met my husband back in 2018 i was 16 years old and he was 18 and obviously we both still lived at home with our parents and we used to facetime every single night um and we would talk all night all night um, fall asleep on the phone, do it again all the next day. And we would always talk about, um, oh, once, you know, we both graduate, uh, we're going to move in together and I can't be, I can't wait to be able to live with you. And I can't wait to be able to wake up next to you. And I can't wait to be able to, you know, cook for you and all that stuff. Um, one day we're going to get married. Like we literally would talk and fantasize about that. Um, and so to now be 20 and 22, so, or yeah, 20 and 22, my husband's tw turning 23 this year and I'm turning 21 this year. To have all of that, um, you know, to have our own house, to have our children, to be married, such a blessing, such a blessing. Um, it's literally what I've always dreamed of. Uh, so yeah, I love being married. I love being able to to say, you know, oh, uh, yeah, let me talk to my husband or I need to call my husband really quickly or, you know, just love it, love it, living my best life. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, I'm getting really sleepy, so this is the best my hair is gonna get. Um, before I go, I just wanted to chit chat really quickly. 
So first of all, sorry this video is kind of like lazy. Um, I know that it's not a lot of editing involved. Um, and it's not like super, you know, I'm not out there vlogging and a lot of clips. I'm kind of just sitting here talking, doing my hair. Um, I wanted my first video back to YouTube to just be really simple. Like I said, sit and talk. I do really enjoy these kinds of videos because I feel like I'm on FaceTime, but with a whole bunch of people watching. Um, so I hope you guys like these too, but please, please, please leave other video com or video requests in the comments because when it comes to YouTube videos, I am so blocked. Um, I know a lot of people want to see like vlogs and stuff like that, but I stay home a lot of the time with my son. We don't, we really don't go out often. So I don't know if people would want to see vlogs of our day at home. Um, I know nighttime routines and morning routines and all that kind of stuff, but just other video examples that you guys would want to see, if you could leave them in the comments, that would be really, really great. If you aren't following me on social media, I will leave it to leave my social media tagged in the description below. Also, let me know what you guys think about the quality of this video. Um, obviously, I haven't watched it back yet because here I am recording it, um, but I'm hoping that this new camera really improves the quality. I plan on taking YouTube more seriously. If you guys know me and know me well, you guys know my main focus usually is TikTok, um, but I really want to get bigger on YouTube, so I'll probably get, you know, like a little backdrop and some better lighting because um, right now I am sitting on the floor. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and sitting with me while I straighten my hair at almost 11 p.m. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, leave video recommendations down below and also more questions for if I do a second part of the Q&A. Bye!